Hello YouTubers, this is Fedor. Just want to make another video on how to better use the 74HC595 8-bit shift register. And um, here it is at work. There's two of these. They're cascading. So the, by the one, one byte from the Arduino goes to these three wires, goes in here. And then from here it shifts out into this one. And then it, it gets displayed. And um, I'll talk more about how that works here in a little bit. And here's the wiring diagram. So here's what uh, it looks like the pinout for the shift register. And here's two of these connected together with the uh, eight LEDs. So you have pin 14, the data pin, connected to pin 12 of the Arduino. Then pin 12 of the shift register, the latch pin, connected to pin 10 of the Arduino. And pin 11 of the shift register, the clock pin, connected to pin 11 of the Arduino. And then a the data pin goes connected straight in, but also from the second cascading shift register, uh, the not pin 9, which is a uh, serial out, is connected to pin 14, the data pin of the second preceding um, shift register, and then pin 12 connects to pin 12, and then pin 11 from here connects to pin 11 clock pin over here, and then so, and then you put the pin 13, you connect to the negative, pin 10 to positive, pin 8 to ground negative, pin 16 that's positive, positive, and then pin 9. Uh, you don't connect it unless you want another shift register. So you want 24, uh, 24-bit. So this right here is a 16-bit. You want 24-bit, you connect another shift register here. And this pin 9 would go to pin 14 of that one, and then pin 12 and 11 all connect together. And you can have as many of these as you like. So, and uh, let me show you the code right quick. i try to zoom in a little bit. Okay. So here's the pin out. Here's a pin 1 through 16. It's going to pin out just like the first card, and then you declare some things, and you do the setup, pin mode, latch pin output, output, whatever. Okay, loop. Void loop. Here's all the fun happens. Um, so the latch pin, as soon as the latch pin goes low, that enables the data to be received. So the Arduino shifts out. Um, this byte right here. So, so this is a LED one, LED two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the first byte is to control LEDs nine through sixteen, and the second byte is to control LEDs one through eight. So here, the first LED is on, second one's off, third one's on, fourth one's off, fifth one on, sixth one off, seventh on, eighth off, and then same thing over here. So you have on here every other LED on and then the second part of the code has over here the the opposite of this so the first one is off the second one on so all the, all the even ones are on and the odd ones are off and then so it alternates even odd even odd even odd even odd so it keeps going like that with the half a second uh, delay in between and you can change these numbers up and you can write whichever LED you want it turn on or off. So there it is, pretty simple how to use the thing. Uh, Arduino comes with a shift out, it's built in for shift registers. So you just enter in the, uh, the clock pin, I mean sorry, the data pin, then the clock pin, and then least significant byte or first significant byte. I keep it on least significant because it puts it out left to right. If you want to do a most significant byte, it will do opposite. So this one would be over here. So it would like be a mirror image of whatever this information is. So hopefully you guys understand how to um, cascade the shift registers now. If you have any questions, comments, or whatnots, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.